Now we move on to section 6 which is Generative Adversarial Networks for Creating Synthetic Data Set. So, first of all, we'll be covering Generator and Discriminator, the basics of CAN. Next, we'll download and set up the Microsoft Research Asia GeoLife Project Dataset. And next, we will code the Generator and Discriminator Networks using TensorFlow. And finally, we'll be training GANs to create synthetic GPS trajectories. So now, we move on to Generator and Discriminator, the basics of GAN. So, now the biggest question comes up, how are GANs built? So they are built using two neural networks. One is Generator and the another one is Discriminator. So, for Generator, as the name suggests, it generates the data and it does the upsampling. So basically, you can think of it like as a thief because Generator will be generating the data and Discriminator will be working as a detective which tells whether the stuff generated by the generator is real or fake. So these both networks are going to work in harmony with each other. Yeah, that's interesting. Now let's take a peek into the architecture of GANs. So here you can see we are passing random data to the generator network and we get generated data that is the fake data set. And this discriminator network is receiving real data as well as the fake data set. And here's an activation function and it gives the value 1 if it figures out that the images are real and 0 if it figures out the images are fake. So the purpose here is to fool the detective by the thief. So whenever iteration happens, this discriminator information is sent back to generator using the loss function back propagation. So the weights are fine tuned. So this way, this thief, this generator generates such nice generated data, the fake data that discriminator totally becomes a fool and it cannot tell whether the fake data is different from the real data and it gives a probability of 0.5 that I don't know whether that's real or fake. So that is the purpose. And now you can definitely answer this question. What are generative adversarial networks? They are like the most beautiful unsupervised deep learning technique. It can be used for creating synthetic data set. And recently, young Nikon stated that GANs have been the most interesting thing that has happened to this field of machine learning in the past 10 years. So that means GANs are really important. And applications of GANs are so many, but to tell just a few in brief, they can be used for creating synthetic images. You have one image, you generate 100 similar images. You can create synthetic GPS trajectories and any kind of distribution data can be generated. So yeah, this is fun.